Okay, you guys, so we're going to get started. I'm super excited for this. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to make your wig. And everything that's going to be needed for this comes in the princess hair kit. I'm so excited. It's here. I'm going to be showing you everything that's inside and I'm going to show you how to create the lilac one. First thing you're going to be getting is obviously the hair. In the lilac set, you're going to be getting four bundles of the Brazilian. So this is the 26 inches. So, oh, and also I have already washed these bundles. Anytime I'm going to be doing color, I wash it with shampoo only first, let it dry overnight because you really want that color to just suck up into there. So I always like to start with fresh bundles and you can see how full they are. Oh, I can't wait. And then we have our 16 inch closure. It does have baby hairs. Make sure you zoom in on that. And so yes, this is what's gonna be going right here. So the way you guys are going to be receiving your hair, it's going to look like this. To look exactly like this when they arrive to you. And this is how they look before you wash them. And your hair ships separately than your princess kit. So your hair is going to come in this package so that there's no issues with the dye spilling on the hair. And I wanted the bundles to come direct from my factory so that you guys could get the cheapest prices. If you have a closure or frontal, it's going to come in a bag like this. So I just wanted to go over that so you guys are super clear. And then your kit will be coming to your doorstep just like this. So let's see what's inside. So this is what your kit is going to look like. It's going to come with eight of your lavender colors, your wig caps, your thread, your hair glue, and a set of two weaving needles. So this is everything you need for your install. So to prep our bundles, we're just going to cut off this gold part. And these are our pro bundles. So that means that these are single drawn. You can see from the top to the bottom, it's a little thinner on the end. If you want our super thick wefts, go with the Lux bundles. These are actually the bundles that I use for my wigs. I did want to make the Lux available for the people who do like it super thick or they want the thickness to be the exact same from the beginning to the end. So you can see how shiny the hair is. You're not going to have any split ends on our bundles when you purchase. So it is going to be silky soft to the touch. Start unraveling our bundles. Now it should look like this. So this is what your wefts are going to look like. And then you can open it up again. And now we're going to lay these out on the ground. So I have all of my colors here and I'm just going to begin to start putting these colors in the bowl. So I found that the easiest way to do this so you don't get arthritis is to cut the very end of it and then literally just push it out. By the way, this is just a bowl from my kitchen that I made into my coloring bowl because when you're coloring um, like four bundles, you do need a lot of space. So instead of just um, using a small one and reloading, I like to make my mixture all at once. So on to how to get a pastel color. What I love about the princess kits is that you can customize it. If you were going for a deeper purple, then you can keep it just as is. But I want to go for a pastel lighter one. So I take my favorite, favorite, you guys, I've been talking about this for years, the conditioner by Suave, the keratin infusion, and I just add this in here. And this is how it's going to turn lighter. So here, this is my setup down here. As you can see, this is a pink tablecloth that I get from the dollar store. I found that this is the easiest because you have a lot of area to work with. Then you're just going to need some weights that you find around the house. And I also have a pillow because my marble is super hard on my knees. So I have a pillow. Then I take a towel because it may get some dye on it. And then I just cover it up and my knees can be nice and comfortable. 
You just want to quickly run your comb through your weft all the way down, which I've done, and then you begin applying. And I don't go completely down to the very bottom yet because you guys want to make your color stretch. It's so easy to run through your color, but eight bottles, as you guys can see, will definitely be enough. You do not want to just be piling this on. You want to do like a nice thin layer. And then I found that I go about this far down because at the end we're going to run our fingers through and the extra color is going to fall down. And then that way you didn't use your color down here. You're just kind of making it stretch. And that's also how I kind of get like the ends to be a little lighter, which effect I really like. So now we're just going to pull these up, kind of hand them off to yourself, trying to keep them separated. And now we do the other side. Okay, you guys, so we are done with that one. Uh oh, we need to cover that up. And now what we're going to do is, is pull this up. And now we're just going to take this, put the ends together, fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it in half again, and fold it in half again. And now we're gonna kind of work this through. Kind of get this nice and straight. And then I just go ahead and sit this in my bathtub. Hey guys, so we are on to phase number two. So your hair should look something like this now. It's going to look really full and fluffy after we rinse out the color and have shampooed it twice. If you were happy with the color when you rinsed out the um, color with, mixed with the conditioner, you do not have to shampoo it. But if you want that color to come out a little more, you do want to shampoo it. And I recommend using this one. I love this one. It's a clarifying shampoo and it helps strip the color if it got too dark. For our actual install, this is what you're going to need. All of this you get in your princess kit. So additionally, you will need a pair of scissors, a couple of clips, um, a comb, and a shower cap. And I forgot, you also get your wig caps in your kit as well. So this is my braid pattern. This is how it looks. It's a little fuzzy, but it's totally fine. Just as long as you have something where your hair is flat as possible. So first you wanna take your shower cap. It can be any disposable shower cap. Next, you wanna take your wig caps and you're going to put this on. So we just kinda of tuck the bag in a little bit. So you want it to be about here. You do not want it to start where your wig is going to start. You want to pull it down. And then we go ahead and put on our second one. And yours will be the same color, mine are just different because I lost one of them. So on the second band, we're going to go ahead and put it just behind the first one because we do not want this to be bulky. We don't want to double it up. We want them to just be a little offset. Then the most important, you make sure it's covering your hair in the back. You don't want to pull down too hard because you don't want your wig cap to be too big. So perfect, we're off to a great start. Next, we're going to grab our closure. So now at this point, I kind of cut off this excess, but not too much because we don't know exactly where our wig is going to lay, just so that it's not in your way. 
Now I just kind of go like this, hold it upside down because we need to put this in a ponytail or in a clip. So I'm gonna put mine in a ponytail. We want this out of our face when we're sewing it on, that it lays flat. So now it's like this. You wanna make sure it's not buckling anywhere. We're going to first put on our closure. I always bring my closure, not looking at the lace, but looking at where the hair starts. I bring that about a half an inch past so that you never see my band when I have on my wig. Now it may feel like it's a little far, but trust me, when you pull it back, you'll be happy that you can't see it. You take your needle pack. The way you measure your thread is by taking it in your hands and then you're just going to stretch your arms open. That is all you need. I lick it. You take your needle and we're just going to put one end of it through there. And then you match up the ends. For the ends, you're just going to grab both pieces, tie it in a knot together. And in a loop, it'll be like this. Then you open both pieces and now you're going to tie them three times. One, two, remember three for thread, three. There's our little knot and we're gonna go up just a little bit and just snip that off. Our needle is ready to go. Hold this down really tight with one hand. We pull it snugly, not too tight. And I start on the side. So we have our needle and thread. We're going to start on the cap and come on the underside of the closure. So it looks like this. And then we're just going to pull that up. Okay, so that's our start. As you're continuously doing this, just make sure your closure is flat and we're going to do that again. And we're trying to get on the edge as much as possible on the closure. Only tricky part with this is you just wanna barely get this needle under the cap, doing this over and over until we get all around. And the one thing with this is you do wanna make sure that you are not going underneath your hair. Remember, we're going to remove this cap. So just try to go right under the cap and right into the edge of the closure. So it's just like you're sewing, you guys. It's really simple. Um, if you have a sister or an aunt or a mom who knows how to sew, they can put this on for you with no problem. And then just as you're going, just kind of hold your hand here, but go ahead and check, make sure the cap is still covering. I kind of pull back the back, make sure, you know, it's just in the right space if you're doing this by yourself. And now when you feel like you're getting to the back, you see where you're holding it, press the corner with one finger so that it is in the right place. And before you go across the back, you wanna check it again, okay? See, I need it to have it pulled a little more. That's just the most important, just check as you go. Now to just make this part easier for me, I cut it off here and start a new one and go from here and go this way, or else you'll be kind of feeding the needle at an awkward position. So all you do is just cut your thread Make sure you pull that nice and tight, but not too tight. You don't want it to buckle. Tie that three times. So again, we just pull this top, come through on the cap and bring it through the closure to get started. And now we can just keep doing this. We just wanna make sure we kind of have this really secured and we're crossing through our last piece of thread just so that they're connected to each other well. So in the same place, just do it about two additional times. Then we're just going to do the same thing, snip our thread and tie three knots.
Okay, you guys, so that is literally the hardest part out of your whole entire wig. So if you can just easily thread like that, then you have it. Then we can take this down, see how it looks. Ooh, so cute. Okay, you guys, so now we're moving on to our bundles. So before we put our bundles in, the most important part is getting some super hold hairspray. This is my favorite, the got to be. And then we're gonna put this all over the cap. And that's going to help your weft stick better. Take our bundle. Here's our purple. We're gonna open this up. I like to start up here around the closure so that when you're wearing your hair down, it's just really seamless and there aren't any bumps. So I get these lined up first. So on your cap, there's going to be this stretchy band about a half inch thick. You do not want to put any of your wefts in this area all the way around or else your cap will not stretch anymore. So I start my weft about right here where it ends. And then we're just going to take that right around. And then we measure it. So I hold my finger here and I just cut it. You do have a lot of thread and a needle in your kit. So if you do not want to do the glue method, you can do the sewing method. So I'm going to take my glue and get this on the weft. And you just apply your glue like so. And you want to do a good amount of glue if you're going to be wearing your wig like for six months to a year because you do not want this coming off when we're shampooing it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this right on here. Next, it's important that you press really, really hard, like as hard as you can on every single inch of the weft. I do about three rolls right up here. So I just go ahead and add this into the bun. So I finished those three on the top. So now the method that I like to do is do ear to ear. So we're going to go from here all the way around to here. I don't start going up quite yet. And remember, you do not want it to be in this area where the band is. So we're going to put it here. And then we just go all the way around to meet the closure. I have my glue on there. And I'm just going around. And yes, it is going to be over your ears um, because, you know, we pulled our cap down. So when we take it off, it'll fit perfect. It won't be too small. And then we just continue doing that, you guys, and we'll be done in no time. And I alternate, so I'll do one weft on this side and then on the next one start on the other side because sometimes your wefts kind of come up short with the measuring and you know, you just want to alternate so it ends up evening out. I put mine somewhat close together. That's how I get really full wigs. If you want a thinner look, then you're going to spread them out more and go up like that. Now you get four bundles, so you have more than enough with the princess kit to get a nice full wig. Or what you can do is not use all of them and then, you know, you can switch out the wefts into new ones when like they kind of start falling out because once you keep washing them, the glue will give and then you'll have more bundles to add into your wig. So either way you want to do it. Okay, so I have done three of those. It looks like this. And now after three, this is when I start going just right across here so it can start straightening up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it like so, just so that we kind of start a straight line. When we're kind of getting to this point where it's getting closed off, we're just going to stick this in here and wrap that around. I have my flat iron on 
I'm going to flat iron it just a little bit because I'm going to be styling this into a huge pretty just voluminous look with um, curls for the photo shoot for the website. So I don't want to do it bone bone straight. But here is the reveal. And now, ooh, it's so nice and full. Now we're going to take this off and we may have some of the thread stuck in our hair. So see, it got stuck in my hair right here. And that's okay, all I do is cut it. I mean, there's really nothing else you can do. But it's just super tiny strands. Just make sure you do not cut the bag or your thread, do not cut your thread. Okay, whew, it gets so hot under that cap. So now we have our bag in here and we just pull this out. Oh, here is a time the infamous wig. Here she is. There's going to be some snags because I got some glue on the hair. Um, some of the glue kind of got stuck to the other weft. So you're just going to comb this out with your paddle brush really well. Kind of get all the snags out, make sure the hair is going in the right direction. And here is your wig. Okay, you guys, so here is what it's looking like now. I'm just going to run my flat iron through it and start showing you how it looks styled. And do not worry, we're gonna take care of the flyaways, which if that light wasn't there, you wouldn't really see those, but it's just super magnifying. And then when I'm out of the light, you guys, you can't see those flyaways. But obviously the way we take care of that is just spraying some hairspray on your hand. And pushing those down. and I'm quickly going to glue this down so you guys can see it all together. I'm taking my got to be glued and I just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And you just wanna get an old makeup brush you don't use or something like this. Um, this is from Latisse, they're little brushes. And then we're gonna spray some of our hairspray in here. We're gonna mix this around. And then we're just going to put some of this right on our hairline, right, you know, where our fake hairline is. And then we just push this down. And then we just blow dry it. Okay, you guys, and now our wig is made and it's on. I'm going to be sharing tips with you guys in a later video on how to get our part perfect. 
And yes, this is how you're going to get your wig from the Lilac Princess hair kit. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I cannot wait to see your wigs. I hope I flattened it good back there. But you guys know that you can straighten it and everything. So I love this hair. I cannot wait to rock this wig on my Instagram. Make sure to follow Princess Hair Plug on Instagram. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you later.